Hey there, I'm Olivia. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm just gonna be getting ready for my day and I thought it'd be fun to have a good old chat while I'm doing it. So thanks for joining me. So some of the things that I wanted to use today are partly what's in my project pan and then also some things that I had gotten into my latest Ipsy bag. I wanna make sure that I use them a few times so that um, I can have a good idea of what I think about them when I review them. So one of the things that I got was the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So go ahead and put that all over. I've only used this once or twice so far, um, and so far I like it. I haven't noticed like a huge difference necessarily compared to other moisturizing primers, um, but I, I like it and I think it smells good and um, I was really happy to be able to try something from this brand because I hadn't tried any actual makeup from them. Um, I tried some of their just like skincare stuff, um, like the toning pads and uh, let's see here, the, I think it's called the Rescue Complexion or, no, what am I talking about? The Ultra Repair Cream <laughs> I had tried. Um, the regular one and then I also tried the, I think it's a grapefruit scent. It came in a little um, like sampler pack and that smelled really good. I really liked that one. But they're pretty heavy, so I kind of tend to use those only like at night and only if I really feel like my skin is dry, um, which I have been more in the winter. But now that it's getting into spring, I don't think I'll need to use those quite as often. So I am really excited for tonight. We're having some friends over and... Okay, so I absolutely loved Kim Possible growing up. We didn't have cable, so I couldn't watch it all the time, but if I ever went over to a friend's house that had it, I absolutely loved Kim Possible. And so when I saw that they were making a live action um, movie for it, it, just like a straight to you know Disney Channel movie, I was so excited. And so I'm having some friends over to watch that with me tonight. And I just can't wait. I hope it... I don't know. I have really have, I have simultaneously high and low expectations. I have high expectations in the sense that I loved Kim Possible and I thought it was amazing. And so like, I really want this to be good too, but low expectations in the sense that it is a Disney channel, like original movie. And while I very much enjoyed those growing up, I don't think they're like the epitome of cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> so probably part of the fun is just gonna be how ridiculous it is. But I haven't seen it yet, so I'm not really sure. But I am so excited. Cannot wait to watch it. The only thing that I'm a little bit like, uh, I don't know about is uh, what Rufus will look like because um, he was adorable in the cartoon, but real life naked mole rats are, in my opinion, not super cute. I am partial to, you know, furry, snuggly pets. But we'll see what it looks like in the movie. I'm excited about it. And then I'm really excited for this weekend. We got tickets to go see James Bay. And... I mean, I, I like him. Um, I'm not like a giant fan, but I, I do like his music. But part of why I'm so excited is because I actually won the tickets in a radio contest. I hardly ever like enter contests like that. Um, but I, it was one of those like crazy news quizzes and you like call in and guess the answer. And if you get it right, like you get the tickets. And I absolutely for sure knew what it was because I just watched um, Screen Junkies, they mentioned it in like one of their news videos. The Outfitters was going to start selling, it was either five or eight, I can't remember, but used VHS tapes as like a grab bag bundle for like $40, which is ridiculous because, I mean, I know it's all part of like the 90s nostalgia, whatever, um, but like I grew up in the 90s and, you know, early 2000s, so we had quite the collection of VHS tapes and now, you know, you can buy them for like maybe a dollar at Goodwill, like if that. So I just, I can't even fathom spending more than like 25 cents <laughs> or maybe 50 cents if you like loved the 
cover art or something and we're just like collecting it but like it's crazy to spend that much on a used VHS tape so anyway I knew that that was the answer um so I called in and I guess no one else had guessed it yet so I got the tickets so I'm really really excited it's been a little while since we've been to a concert I think the last one we went to was Matt and Kim um they were playing and so it's been a little bit and I just love going to concerts so I'm excited for that one and then I found out um a friend of ours was also gonna be going to that anyway so that should make it even more fun okay and this was the makeup revolution fast base concealer this one isn't my favorite it's just one that I'm kind of trying to work through because I just don't think it has as good of coverage I don't know if maybe I should have gotten a different shade if that would help but I just not that I expect ones to necessarily have the same coverage as like shape tape, because that's, you know, kind of exceptional in the amount of coverage that it has. Although I do really want to try that new one from e.l.f. Um, as soon as I finish this one up, I think. Or whatever my next concealer that I finish is. Probably be this one. And then I really want to try that e.l.f. one, because I've heard such good things about it. But anyway, I don't expect it to necessarily have the same amount of coverage, but... I don't know. I feel like it should at least be like buildable. In general, I'm trying not to buy much new makeup. Um, that's part of why I wanted to start that project pan because I just, I really want to make sure that I'm actually using the things I have and not getting so excited about a new release that I end up, you know, wasting money and not actually using the things that I bought the last time there was an exciting new release. So I'm going to use my Clinique uh, transparency powder. I got this, I think it was the last 21 Days of Beauty. I wonder if there's other like classic Disney shows that they're going to be doing a live action movie for. Like obviously all the um, like movies, they're kind of redoing live action. Um, but I wonder about TV shows. I, I can't think of other ones just off the top of my head. Um, like Kim Possible, where they're taking a TV show and making a new, like, live-action movie for it. Can't think of any, but if you can, let me know, because I'll probably want to check it out. No. If you have not tried the Mediterranean salad that they have at Costco, oh my gosh, it's delicious. It has, like, feta and, like, pieces of pita in it, and... Um, the dressing is super good, and I feel like, um, whatever, like, combo of lettuce and other greens they put in there just helps to keep it, like, crunchier, um, so it doesn't get, like, so wilty as fast, but, oh my gosh, I absolutely love that salad, so I kind of want to get it for tonight, but I don't know if I have time to go over to Costco. I don't think there's any such thing as like a quick Costco trip. <laughs> okay, and this is my Too Faced, what's it called? Love Flush blush. So I'm just grabbing my Makeup Geek quad that I had gotten um, at Target and just grabbing the brown from in here and just popping that in the crease. I've been trying to use this brush that I had gotten in my Ipsy bag, and I don't dislike it. I just, I don't know, I'm kind of used to something a little bit fluffier. Like, it's very soft, it's not like it's a rough brush, but it's just, it's a little bit more structured than I usually use in the crease. I usually use something super, um, like, fluffy, and it's going to diffuse everything, so I feel like it's taken a little bit of getting used to but I think it's a good brush like I'm happy to have it and I really don't have anything quite this shape in my collection so I think for the sake of time though I'm gonna switch back to an old standby this is my Morphe M441 brush I just want to get this blended out 
So I'm trying to think of what other kind of eye looks I want to do coming up. I have a lot of ideas of things that I'd like to do at some point, but I don't know. I'm not sure what would be good to do next. I just finished filming another one of my, like, let's play with color monochrome eye looks. Um, so I definitely want to do more of those in the future, of course, go through all the colors. And I don't know, I was kind of thinking it would be fun to do like some movie inspired looks. Um, like I was thinking, so like we just saw Aquaman again, and I thought, well, that'd be kind of fun to do a look based off of his costume because well, I think in the original one, it was like orange and like teal. Then, I don't know, there's other superheroes that I think would be kind of fun to do an eye look based off of. But then I also want to do some movie ones based off of um, like the ColourPop uh, villain collection. I don't know that I'll actually buy anything from it just because I don't really need any new makeup from them right now. Um, but I think it would be fun to try to do some looks kind of inspired by those characters. Like, okay, I'm just gonna grab like a random brush here. I think this is an elf eyeshadow one. And I wanna dip into that kind of muted pink in this palette and just pop that on the lid here. And then I feel like I have to do my eyebrows now because I feel like it looks weird on me to have shadow and not have my eyebrows done. So I'll use my AOA Studios one. So as you can see, I'm wearing my new Dunder Mifflin shirt that I got at Target in my last haul. I absolutely love this shirt. I'm so excited. There's a couple other ones too that I kind of want to go back and get. Like there was a Pizza Planet one that I thought was super cute and that I really want. I'm a huge Disney fan. But what I liked about that one was that it almost, like if you didn't know like that it was a Disney reference, like you would just think it's for some like random like pizza parlor, which I think is kind of fun. Like it was white and had the red lettering on it and it didn't say like anything about Toy Story or Disney. It just looked like an actual t-shirt. That's kind of fun. So for highlighter today, I want to use that one that I got in my box again, um, the pure one, because I tried, like, when I first watched it, I thought, eh, that doesn't seem, like, that great. Like, it's fine, very natural, whatever, but I didn't think it was, like, that good. And then I tried using it, like, on my eyes, because I do that a lot. Um, like, if I'm just trying to do a super simple eye look, I'll use, like, my bronzer in the crease and then my highlight on my eyes. And I wasn't really a big fan, like I didn't think it packed enough of a punch, but I tried it the other day just like for its intended purpose as a highlight, and I really liked it. Like, it's, I mean, it is more subtle than other highlights in my collection, but it's really pretty. So I misjudged this one. I didn't understand what all the hype was about because I thought it was fine, but nothing special but that just goes to show a swatch is not everything and sometimes you have to try things a couple times and then you might actually really like it. I'm kind of feeling this like purple right here like these two the lighter one and the darker one what are they even called? So the lighter one is Beauty Junkie and the darker one is Lit, and those are both ColourPop shadows. So let's see here. So I want to put down a purple liner first. So this is my Rimmel Scandalize in the shade purple. There you go. Straight and to the point. I like it. So I'm just going to run that underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm going to dip into Lit and just keep that on the like outer third, I think. This is one of my favorite looks, to do something neutral but with a pop of um, purple on the lower lash line. 
Okay, and then to finish up, I'm just gonna do a bit of liner. I'm using my Thrive Cosmetics one. The more I use it, the more I decide I just really don't like this liner. Like, not enough to stop using it. Like, I do want to try to use it up, but it's not, like, I don't think it's very smooth. Um, it's not as black as other liners that I have. Like, I can go over it a few times and it gets a little bit better, but it's definitely not as good as other ones. And I mean, I didn't buy this one because a friend of mine gave it to me. Um, she'd gotten it in an Ipsy bag or a um, boxy charm and just wasn't using it. But even still, I know that it's not like a really cheap eyeliner, so I feel like, you know, what are you doing? Step up your game a bit. Okay, gonna pop on some mascara. I've got my Stila. Was it huge extreme lash mascara? I love this stuff. I will be very sad when it's gone because I probably won't repurchase it unless it's on sale. Just because I, it's just hard to justify spending that much on a mascara when there's really good ones at the drugstore. And actually, I have one already that I haven't opened yet, but it's going to be my next one. It's um, I think it's a L'Oreal one that's a tubing mascara. I've been wanting to try tubing mascaras for a while just because anything that makes taking your makeup off at the end of the day easier, like I am all for that. I don't know if this is a setting spray per se, but I'm gonna use the Mario Badescu orange one. I'm almost, um, why do I always start a sentence and then spray my face in a little bit? Um, I'm almost done with this one, so that's kind of exciting. I bought the lavender one and it's fine. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the scent of lavender, so I wasn't expecting to love it, but I got it because I thought it might be kind of nice to use at night, like just to kind of help me relax and sleep a little bit better. But my favorite is still the cucumber one. So I think, I don't know, I'm, I might use up the lavender one first, or I might go ahead and just buy the cucumber one um, when this one is done, just because I love it so much. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. So anyway, I'm all done. I'm ready to go about the rest of my day. So thank you so much for joining me. Sure appreciate it. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Um, so if you'd be interested in seeing future videos, then definitely subscribe. And if you liked it, then hit that like button. And thank you again for watching. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.